I am not afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm not afraid of the British. Uh, I know what they're trying to do. You know what they're trying to do. I'm prepared to fight to the bitter end. Mm -hmm. I'm prepared to fight even if I have to fight alone. I'm prepared to fight until the last breath has left my body for the freedom. This is a, this is a fight for our freedom. We have to have elections. We have to have a referendum on the future. Yeah. Do we want to remain British? Do we want to go independent? What do we want? Well, or, or, or else the governor will, will, can say he has a majority support. I mean, can you imagine the arrogance? I believe that whenever the elections are called, there's no question in my mind that the PNP will get reelected. And also, there's no question in my mind that, that, that uh, uh, whenever the election, that I will be reelected. And those were just some of the comments he made during his exclusive interview with News 4. Honorable Michael Mizick, the former embattled leader of the Progressive National Party and former premier, echoed his sentiments on the UK's government possible suspension of the Turks and Caicos Islands Constitution in our studios earlier today. Mizick, during an hour-long interview, told News 4 that he will continue to contend the UK high courts. Mizick said he is undoubted by the likelihood that he might face prosecution pending on the outcome of the final report on the Commission of Inquiry, and the former premier says the way forward for Turks and Caicos is independence. We shall overcome, no question about it, uh, because, uh, because, because uh, our cause is just. Uh, uh, the British is, 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 is yet a gang on the wrong side of history. Yet a gang. You know, you can, you, you, freedom is in your mind. So they can lock me up. I'm, I'm a free man. Because I know that, 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 that uh, the, 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 you know, all of the hard work that has gone into putting our country on the map, you know, uh, and, 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 and so many other people know all of the hard work that, that we've done to, you know, six years ago where Turks and Caicos was relatively unknown. And, 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 and until recently, you know, we we're, were the envy of, of, of the world, envy of the Caribbean. This, that wasn't a, a mis by chance, right? And so um, I believe that, 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 that the only way that, that we have a bright and prosperous future is, is to be independent. Mizik went on to say that his political platform will continue to be the pursuit of independence. Rumors that there were problems within the Progressive National Party began to surface when the then premier was challenged by a number of other members of parliament, citing that they no longer had confidence in him as a leader. Mizik said that the relationship between him and his colleagues have since changed. Um, a lot of people that, that are very close to me, uh, I believe that uh, as a matter of fact, the Commission of Inquiry used that as their excuse to say to suspend the government, that the cabinet was divided. Uh, but again, um, you know, I've forgiven um, persons who have, you know, moved against me, and I've asked, and, and, and if I've done anything to any of them, I've asked for, for their forgiveness. Uh, and so, for me, the fight is not really within ourselves. I think the, the, the fight is bigger than that. Uh, the fight is fighting the system. My resignation has nothing to do with, with me sailing off into the sunset. Uh, I, 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 I resign because uh, at the time, with the discontent, and it has nothing to do with, with the British, mm -hmm. I was prepared as Premier to fight the British to the nail, as I'm prepared uh, as a member of Parliament and, and as a citizen to continue to fight them. But uh, it was clear to me, uh, because of whatever reasons, and I don't want to hash them, mm -hmm. whatever reasons, there were uh, elected members who were not prepared to support me. I, st I believe then, and I still believe now, that uh, I have the majority of support of the people of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Honorable Michael Mizick said that he was pleased with the operating procedures of the current administration and that although ministers who were once at the heads of government have now become backbenchers, the former premier says that he is content and will continue to support the parties newly. Uh, they have a lot of obstacles in their way because you have a governor who's, who's a dictator, who's dogmatic, who uh, even, uh, even thinks that the government wants to get through. He's not, accept he's not accepting the advice because ultimately, 
he, he thinks that, 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 that he's going to be in charge. And so he's dragging everything out and waiting until he, he's in charge. Mm -hmm. He wants to be, he wants to be uh, leader of this country more than Floyd Seymour <laughs> wants to be. And so I think that the, the, the new pre premier, under the circumstances, is, is, is doing uh, an, an excellent job. Mizik, however, said that the new administration should reconsider lifting the ban on awarding crown land, stating that it is a form of empowerment for belongers. He went on to note that there have been limited talks between himself and the new leader on the country's governance. He's never asked me for my advice. If he does, I will. But contrary to, uh, to what is believed, I mean, uh, you know, he, he, he's not a puppet for me. Uh, and, 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 and neither do I want anyone to be a puppet for, puppet for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very proud of, the, of my track record as a, as, a, as a politician in this country. I'm very proud of, of, the, uh, of, of my track record uh, in the six years that we've governed. Mizik noted that contrary to circulating rumors that he has left the country, politics is a vital part of his life and he will continue to be committed to it.